Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. This is where I air my views and show you what it's like living in France from my perspective. I will cover do-it-yourself projects and garden management. Just remember, this is just a bit of fun. So let's begin. Oh, hello everyone. Dave's Diaries in France. Uh, 68 subscribers. Wow. Absolutely blown away. What, from a, a week or so ago, I had 40 or 42 or something. Now I've got 68. Wow, I'm just blown away. Thank you very much for uh, subscribing. I, I really hope you like the channel um, and what I'm trying to do. Okay, some of it's a bit boring, but hey. So, uh, Saturday night, went uh, to a local restaurant stroke hotel it's like an old, old manor house. And uh, I thought it was just going to be a meal type of thing, a uh, posh meal uh, that the wife uh, had booked. And um, yes, it was quite posh. And um, the age dynamic was 20 to 30 years above us. But uh, it, it was actually, uh, there was a sommelier there. A sommelier is a uh, professional wine taster person type thing. And uh, he was promoting his wine, his sparkling wine. Sorry, my camera just stopped again because it's on voice activation and uh, <laughs> I said something that turns it off. So hopefully it doesn't do it again. But anyway, there was a sommelier there and they were showcasing uh, wines and things like that. And... Um, the aperitif was non-stop. I had four glasses of sparkling wine uh, and the wife told me, slow down, slow down. You got two, two, um, two wines per course uh, to taste. And, uh, and I didn't think much of it, you know, I was very much in the throw of things. Anyway, we came to sit down and I, I'd had five, four glasses of sparkling wine and two glasses of sparkling rosé wine and then I had, we had the meal and obviously uh, the wine was there, two, two types of wine per, per dish. And you had the waiters coming round, topping your glasses up and things like that. And uh, yeah, uh, so by the end of it, to cut a long story short, I was pickled. Absolutely well and truly pickled. Um, I didn't realise that until I got outside carrying two cases of wine, which we bought. And uh, yeah, I was a bit of a mess. Um, hence the next day, I was, yeah, I, I didn't want to know. I was dead to the world. I didn't, I felt awful. I felt terrible. Um, and I haven't had a hangover like that for a long time. And I still didn't feel well this morning, which is a Monday morning. So, yeah, uh, it was a good night. The food was fantastic. Um, I might be converted on the pigeon. Um, I never liked pigeon. And yet the way it was cooked, it was quite nice. It's almost a liver flavour. Um, but the food was great. Absolute top notch. Loved it. Um, yeah, so so that was the weekend. <laughs> didn't uh, didn't do a lot of the weekend. Saturday I, I recorded some footage, um, just very brief footage because it was a strange kind of eerie atmospheric day. I was just tidying up um, things. Uh, I'll put the video on the end of this. Uh, you can see Una absolutely going crazy um, because uh, she'd been on a long walk and she was tired and she was sat down and she didn't want to move so uh, I shouted and then she came galloping towards me and went crazy that's I'll, I'll put that at the end of this vid um, so I'm back in Charnje, um our house in Charnje. Um still working on it I've done some uh, plasterboarding today with some great um, cheap uh, adhesive mix that you have to mix it up it's only 760 a bag and it's 
Acton. Uh, I'll show you it. In fact, I'll show you what's been going on. So let's take it down here. Right. This is the stuff. And it sticks like shit to a blanket. It's a universal Acton multifunction. Six six one. So you can smooth you can do the joining tape and joining and you can also stick plasterboard to uh, concrete brick whatever and that's what i've been using and it's that that is a i think it's a five kilo bag is it a five yeah five kilo bag and it it's really good stuff 760 seven euro 60 it is so and this is let me just close there because i've got the heating on so this, this is the downstairs room that we're trying to get done, um, as well as upstairs. But today, I mean, I've put, the, the green plasterboard is the water resistant um, aqua board, I suppose you can call it. Um, but the, the edges will be um, angle beaded. And on the side here, that all here, this will all be angle beaded uh, just to, strengthen it because there's there's a sliding door going in here and then this is i've just done this so it's just to hold it into position uh you've got a concrete support lintel behind and this is now stuck to it bear in mind you'll have angle bead along the, the edge as well so both sides so that's what i've done here today um, I've got to skim upstairs, but I, I've now got to sort this out. So I've got to box this in, which as soon as this is dry, I can put some buttons there and do all the boxing in, which wouldn't be an issue. And then as soon as that's done, uh, we can put the um, plasterboards on the ceiling or insulate and put the plasterboards up in here. It's all good. Um, we just got to put the extractor in here. This is wired into the light in this room. So as soon as you turn it on, it will come on. Because there's, we haven't got the VMC in here. VMC is a, a, like a, it's an air circulation unit that gets put in your loft. And um, it circulates the, it takes out the damp air and you know, it it's circulates the air in the house. It's quite a good system in France. You don't have them in the UK, but you have them in France. So, yeah, that's work in progress there. Um, I'm quite happy about that. I'm looking forward to finishing this room. Because it won't take long now. And upstairs, it's the same. I've just got to start skimming. I think I'm going to start skimming tomorrow. Um, because... Today, I think is I've wanted to get the plasterboard done. So in here is it's not changed. Just started sanding, and the tools are down there. And there's going to be a wall here, starting here, going across with an entry a door in 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 this side. So that's where we are at the moment. So I will um, keep going, slowly but surely. I'll put some more uh, content up, uh, more to do with the DIY stuff now. Now it's, uh, it's 13 degrees today, a centigrade. So it's well above uh, freezing. I can do all the plaster, plaster work and everything. I can start skimming. So I'm gonna start that tomorrow, skimming tomorrow. Am I repeating myself? Yeah, I'm repeating myself. Uh, so, uh, what else is that? Oh yeah, you know, uh, I told you Una was uh, on heat. She's now off heat. And apparently, I mean, I, I'm dumb to these kind of things. Um, they only have two periods a year. Um, which my wife pointed out to me this morning. Uh, I said, oh, we've got to put, put up with this every month now until she gets done. And she said, no, you donkey. They only get, they are only on heat twice a year so she's booked in for around easter time to um get done 
And uh, so, so, yeah, I learned something new about dogs. I thought I, I knew all there was to know about dogs. But hey, what do I know? Anyway, uh, I'll put the vid on uh, from Saturday on the end of this one. So if you like these uh, videos, give me a like, subscribe, and um, you know, I'll, I'll keep producing the content. Uh, so I'll, I'll catch you later. ta -ta for now. Watch the next vid. See you later. Bye. Ah, good morning, everyone. Dave's diary is in France. Oh, it's a cold one this morning. It's uh, currently, currently, minus seven degrees centigrade. And uh, I went to get the, the tractor out this morning, out of the little shed, and the, uh, the lock had frozen. <laughs> Even in my workshop, just there, the padlock would fr had frozen, couldn't get the key in. So I had to blow into the padlock. How mad is that? My, <coughs> minus seven. I haven't been minus seven for since the last time I went to Lap, Lapland when it was minus 16. So today I'm just finishing up what I, uh, the mess I, uh, clearing up uh, the mess I created the other day. Because uh, yesterday I had uh, other things going on. And uh, tonight we're going out for a meal at a local restaurant, which should be quite nice. So all I've got to do now is just clear up some rubbish. I'm not going to film it because you get bored of it. If I spot something that I need to film, I'll pick up the camera. 67 subscribers. I'm over the moon. I don't know what's going on. Does my face fit or something? I don't know. Some people say I, I look like one of the, uh, um, or is his name Gareth Hale out of Hale and Pace? If you don't know what I mean, it's uh, look up, hello Billy and Johnny. Uh, it's, it's the fat one I'm supposed to look like. But uh, some people who know me might might see the mannerisms. And if you also look up uh, hospitality in Spain. Uh, in my youth, yeah, I could, I could see me being like that, but, you know, <laughs> but there, there we go. Anyway, uh, so you'll enjoy them. Uh, anyway, I'm going to crack on and uh, I'll catch up with you later. ta, -ta for now. Well, I've done a few bits in this cold. I've chopped some stuff up. It's all... Really, you know, you don't want to see that. I just want to show you uh, what kind of a day it is here today. Don't know whether you can. Um, it shows on the camera, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's like a an eerie quietness. Oh. I think I hear the dulcet towns of my wife. Ah, uh, sounds even. Oh, here they are. Is it cold over there? <laughs> What's she doing now? <laughs> Una! <laughs> You're crazy, dog. It's, it's weird, this atmosphere, isn't it? It's lovely. It's strange. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yep, she's gone crazy. <laughs> what are you doing, Una? <laughs> <laughs>